1964 Civil Rights Act protects LGBTQ workers from workplace discrimination. Civil Rights Act of 1964 bans job discrimination because of a person's race, religion, national origin, and sex. The court ruled that protection also applies to gay and transgender workers. Indianapolis Mayor Joe Hogsett announcing plans for a major reform to the city's public safety policy. It includes an independent third-party review of the city's response to protests at the end of May and the start of June just a few weeks ago. The leadership structure for that review will be announced in the next few days. Now, there will also be a new partnership between the city of Indianapolis and the NYU School of Law's Criminal Justice Lab. Six members of a group formed to reduce crime in Indianapolis just resigned in a strongly worded letter. They were part of the Southeast Community Resource District Council. The letter claims the council has become political with hidden agendas. Former IMPD Chief Brian Roach established those councils. Right now, there are volunteers downtown sitting outside waiting to help people released from jail. They'll be there all day and all night. It's a partnership between the Indy 10 Black Lives Matter group and the Bail Project. As CBS 4's Melissa Crash reports, it's proven to organizers that the need is out there. This tent is here on the corner 24 7 ready to help people release from jail. All people have to do is walk right up and the resources are waiting for them. We're with the bail project. Addie Barrett has spent hours sitting here on the corner of Market and Alabama streets. If you go down to the end of this corner after attending multiple protests, she wanted to do more, which landed her here. So we're giving people resources, answering questions and connecting people released from jail to legal services, court help, transportation and food or water. We had one person actually come up. She has someone back in the jail right now trying to get a bond. We can see if we can help you with that. There are more than 130 volunteers signed up to staff this table at all hours of the day. If their phone was dead, they didn't know where their friends were or something like that, we could help them out. A week ago, the Bail Project and Indy 10 Black Lives Matter set up the tent as protests ramped up. Many people were being arrested or cited and released. The groups knew they had to help those who were leaving the city county building, not knowing what happens next. There's just a lot of people that are outraged and frustrated with the way that the legal system is working right now, and really we're looking for ways to get involved. And then we saw that the need was just greater than that. We can try to help. April Angermeyer works for the Bail Project, a nonprofit that provides free bail assistance to thousands of low income people every year. And one week, 1,600 people have stopped by this tent to ask for help. We know that, you know, people involved in the criminal legal system, you know, people who are experiencing homelessness, they're all part of this community. We all need to take care of each other. And these issues are all very intersectional. You know, they, they're not separate issues. For volunteers, it's about supporting the movement and each other. I just think that our city has so much capacity for change right now, and I really hope that the energy gets kept up over more than just the first two weeks. The Bail Project is still looking for volunteers to make sure this booth is staffed if someone needs help. If you are interested, head on over to our website. For now, reporting downtown, I'm Melissa Crash, CBS 4 News. Melissa, thank you.